Yo, what's good, Impact Wrestling fans? It's your boy BQ here at the lounge. I have to do this one on the road here because I got a real busy day. No got time to kind of stop and uh, talk to you guys. But the breaking news that just came out is that Kimberly is officially signed with Impact Wrestling. So most of you know that there was three knockouts wrestling without a contract. Uh, herself, Nevaeh, and Deanna Perrazzo. I think it's really important they lock all these girls down. Now, let's look at Kimberly um, and her time in Impact so far. And uh, after I talk about Kimberly, I'm going to get into a couple things about the, the channel here going forward, so stick around. But, uh, you know, even though she hasn't been on the winning end a whole lot, I only think she has a clean win. Uh, she's looked really good in the ring. She's, she's put on good matches for what she's been given. You know, she's been put in the situations the last few times in a ring where it's like you knew she was going to lose. Because uh, I think it was, you know, Jordan Grace, Deanna Perrazzo. But the match with Deanna Perrazzo was excellent. The way I felt about her so far in the company um, is that, sure, her, uh, her uh, I've talked about her entrance. I like her entrance a lot. I like her music, but she's very confident. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a very seasoned confidence about her that I have liked so far. And um, she's she's a good she's a good addition. Um, you know, back in the days, my favorite tag team on independent scene was uh, once upon a time was the Kimber Bombs, her and Allie, aka Cherry Bomb. And then, um, you know, she went to NXT, and then you know, I was unaware that she kind of had some mental health issues and things like that. Um, you know, but she's gotten herself in a good in, into good shape and uh, apparently good mentally. And I believe she's now married with uh, Zachary Wentz. So everything seems to be going well with her, and then I believe she does. Um, she have a, a vet or a vet technician or something like that on the outside uh, when she's not wrestling, uh, you know, chasing a career in that. So um, she's a, she's a good addition. As I said, she's had a very seasoned uh, appear. Uh, you know, she's appeared very seasoned and confident on TV, and has put on excellent matches despite not necessarily winning them. So now that she's under contract, maybe we get. Uh, you know, a little bit more of a run with her, but the knockouts division again looking excellent. Uh, a couple things about the Impact Lounge going forward. Going to take it kind of easy with the content this month because uh, you know I, I've got burnt out many times over the last several years, and it's usually in conjunction with a pay per view. So now that Slammiversary's you know done, I want to kind of chill a little bit this month. Uh, it will still deliver some content and then you know ramp it up again for Bound for Glory. I have a mobile podcast that I'll be working on with my GoPro. It's going to be set up in my vehicle here. Uh, it'll be very, very safe, a lot safer than what I'm doing right now. But I am driving through residential area. Um, you know, so that that's gonna, just look forward to that. I'm, I'm excited about that. There's a couple other content ideas I'm going to be using, but um, I'm waiting on a new. Uh, computer to come which is going to be here between the 10th and 13th i actually thought i ordered a computer several weeks ago and was unsure why it didn't arrive yet and then i looked at my bank account emails and there was no uh evidence of me ever purchasing a computer so i don't know what happened um i just i remember <laughs> checking out and buying one but for some reason the transaction never went through. I guess I got distracted and just thought I completed it. So uh, I will kick up some interviews uh, once that's happening. Me and TW will have a podcast. It's not going to be reviewing Impact totally, but it's going to be talking about like, you know, three or four big points of the show. That way we're not boring you with a, you know, a long podcast taking you, you know, segment through segment. Something, um, you know, if two or three big things happen, four big things happen, but we're going to hammer that home. So, um uh, so yeah, good stuff. Um, I got one interview I'm going to try to lock down today. That's going to be really, really huge, but you know, keep an eye out on the, uh, the mobile podcast that I'm doing and, um, all the good stuff. So thanks for swinging by the impact lounge as always. And I'm out. Peace.